everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, we're going to be taking an advanced look at the upcoming Marvel Infinite Series, Marvel Legends Infinite Series Avengers Wave 3 Vision figure. Now, this figure is part of that Hulkbuster Build a Figure wave and it should be out, this wave will be out in stores, should be out late July, early August, or maybe mid-August um, here in the United States. And so this figure comes packaged in the same style of packaging we've seen with the other Marvel Infinite Series figures. Um, we've got the Marvel logo up top, we've got the figure clearly displayed in the window box packaging, and then we've got the Marvel Legends Infinite Series logo down below. Now this is kind of one of the swap figures, um, even though both figures are shipping in the same assortment, uh, this is kind of one of the swap figures. So instead of having the name of the character, it just says the Marvel Heroes, and this figure and, and Doctor Strange or, or kind of uh, uh, you know swap figures I, I guess is the best word for them. So we've got Doctor Strange's image on the one side and then the Vision's image on the other and then on the back we have a look at both figures and then a little brief bio for the characters done in multiple languages and then down below it shows us all the figures in the Hulkbuster build a series wave. Okay so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging. Now the figure comes with a Hulkbuster build a figure piece. It comes with the lower torso for Hulkbuster. And we'll be taking a closer look at this when we look at all the pieces and have them all together assembled for the Hulkbuster in a separate review. So we'll get back to that. Now the figure itself is, I think, looks pretty good. It's a nice improvement over the Toy Biz Vision. Um, basically incorporates primarily the Bucky Cat mold which we've seen used many times in recent Marvel Legend figures. Uh, the head's different, the hands are different, and then the lower feet I believe are the same feet that are used on the Batroc figure um, which also use the Bucky Cat mold. Now one thing I don't like really about the figure is I don't like this hand that they've used for his um, left hand. I don't know if this was from another figure um, I, I can't place it right off, but I think it comes off looking a little too big on this figure, so I don't really like that hand. Uh, the other hand is fine. It's a closed-fisted hand. I have no problem with that. Um, paint applications are, are pretty solid. Um, I do have some scuff marks on, on, the, on the right leg. Um, on his outer thigh. You can see here that on the dark green there's some uh, scuff marks there. But otherwise, for the most part, the paint uh, job on this one is pretty good. I, I like that there's not a, much in the way of bleeding in the yellow like we've seen with a lot of uh, previous uh, Marvel Legend figures, especially like that Hellcat figure um, in the last wave. That one had a lot of bleeding. So the yellow, is, is, there's not really much in, in the way of bleeding on the yellow. Now the cape itself, it's a sleeker cape design than we've seen with like the Toy Biz Vision and it's a harder plastic than, than a lot of the capes we see in the line but it's still got some flexibility. It's got the little peg that fits in the hole on his back and it kind of fits away from the figure um, the way the peg is, is angled so um, kind of gives it that flowing look which I think is pretty good and it also kind of acts as a figure stand because he'll kind of lean back on it um, so you can kind of use it as a as a figure stand in a way as well. So uh, the paint applications, you know, the yellow on the upper body and the cape and then he's got other than the red on his face and his, his hands and then he's got like the little yellow for, on his gem and he's got white eyes and I do like I really do like the head sculpt on this one I think it comes off looking really good I like the expression that they've given the vision so I think they've done a good job with that and then for the rest of the paint they've just used darker and lighter metallic greens and I think the definitely especially the the lighter greens um, I think come off looking really nice on this figure I, I definitely like that better than like just kind of the flat green that they used on the old Toy Biz version. And they've also throughout the body have just done some line, painted some line work uh, with some darker green colors to kind of give them that circuitry uh, robotic look like you see in the comics so for the most part that comes off looking pretty good. And on his, on his head um, he's got some marbleization effect going on on the dark green colors on the top of his head. He's also, on my figure at least, looks like he's got a little nick in his, uh, on the top of his head. It, it's, I can't tell if it's, if it's actual paint or, 
Um, looks like actually just a little bit of a chip on his head, so that's probably just with my figure, so nothing I would worry about too much. But I just wanted to point out he does have some of that marvelization going on with the top of his head. So the figure stands at just a little bit under six and a half inches tall. And he's definitely taller than the old uh, Toy Biz um, vision. And he's about the same height as, as like the Marvel Now, Captain America. You know, again, he uses that Bucky Cap mold. So, you know, height-wise, he's pretty much in scale with all the figures that use, use that Bucky Cap mold. And just for one more comparison, here he is uh, next to... Uh, Scarlet Witch. Okay, so articulation on the figure, you know, if you have the Bucky Cap mold uh, figure or any of the figures that use that mold, then you're pretty familiar with the articulation. But we'll go over it real quick uh, just in case. So the head is on a ball hinge joint, so he's got good movement at the head. He can look left and right, no problem. And he does have good up and down movement with the head. So, you know, for flight poses and stuff, he's got really good movement with the head. So I like that. He's got the ball hinge joints at the shoulder, um, so he can get his arm out good. And and he's got good rotation and he's even got that little clicky noise when you rotate the arm he has a bicep swivel he's got the double jointed elbow so he's got good bending at the elbow and then he's got the swivel and the hinges on the wrist so he's got good up and down movement with the hands as well he's got the ab crunch so he can uh, crunch really good and then he can look back good he's got a rotation at the thigh ball joints for the leg so he can do the splits about that much he can get his leg forward good kinda out and back he's got the thigh swivel he's got the double jointed knees and then he's got the uh, swivel at the boot cuff and then ankle pivots on on this one so good movement there and then two uh, peg holes on the bottom of his feet Okay, so that's my review. Overall, I like this figure. I think it's a nice improvement over the Toy Biz version. Um, I like the metallic paints on it. I think they look uh, pretty good on the figure. I like the head sculpt on this one as well, and the sleeker cape is nice. It's got good articulation, you know, which is to be expected with this mold. And so, again, I think it's just a nice improvement over the Toy Biz version. So this figure, along with the rest of the Hulkbuster wave, as I said, should start hitting shelves here in the United States. Um, by mid-August. Could be a little bit sooner, but basically mid-August is, is the target date where I'd really start looking for these. Um, we'll be looking at the entire wave, including the Hulkbuster figure, which I know is the big one everyone's been waiting for. So we'll be looking at that in the next couple of days, um, along with all the other figures. So stay tuned for that. And as always, you know, we ask, please leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Thank you.